Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to another video of Equation uh, Another video of Mathematics for Matriculation First Semester So In the first In the previous video We already We already inter, We already been introduced to Inequalities what is the properties of inequalities and how to solve linear inequalities so in this video we will discuss how to solve quadratic inequalities so now we have quadratic inequalities so quadratic inequalities is uh, is an equality that can has the following form so we have ax plus b a x squared plus b x plus c greater than zero a x squared plus b x plus c greater than or equal to zero a x squared plus b squared a plus b x plus c less than zero o a x squared plus b x plus c less than or greater than zero so so quadratic inequality is an equality that can has the following form either one of these problem form okay so so to solve to solve quadratic inequalities we have two methods we have two methods one one is using sorry one using algebraic method and second one using graphical methods so these are the two methods of solving quadratic inequalities Okay, but what you should be familiar is how to factorize quadratic equation actually. That should be, uh, no, no, uh, factorizing quadratic uh, equation should be already not a problem for you. If you have, if you still has a problem in solving quadratic equation, I know you, I know you, you will say that you have formulas, but in the exam, you will not be given a formula. Yes, I know that. Okay, so make sure that you familiar you you are familiar with how to how to factorize quadratic in quadratic expression. Sorry, a quadratic expression. Okay, so you can you can assume you can use the method the same method for solving uh, solving what solving uh, quadratic equation that is x equals to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay but you need to remember that in this in this section we are do, we are go, we are going to solve quadratic in equalities not quadratic in equal not quadratic equal not not quadratic equation so there are some part that will be different from how to solve quadratic equation okay so we go into uh, the first one we go into the first one A algebraic method algebraic method so for algebraic method there are also two 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 types of algebraic methods the first one is using table of signs okay so the first method here is using the method of table of sign okay so let's let's we let's take an example Let's take an example. For example, 
صاف اوکے صاف x سکوئر greater than x plus 2 okay so let's say we have the following example okay okay so so to solve the first step here is the first step is use the properties of inequalities to obtain a zero on the right side of the equality of the inequality so the first step here in other words we are mo we are we are moving certain we are moving the terms on the left and the right side of the equality using the properties of the equalities to make sure that on the right hand side there will be only zero on the on the right hand side okay so what we can do here is just move and there's there and there's no there's no sign changing here okay so the first step here is x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0 okay okay in in this in our example there's no sign changing so we don't we don't worry about that okay but is the, if there is if there is sign changing then you should sign you, you should change the sign okay then we go into the second step so in the second step we will factorize if possible okay if possible okay the quadratic expression on the left hand side okay so for the left hand side we will uh, factorize okay if you don't okay i will show you one way factorize so we have x we have x we have x so we will have x multiply x x squared so we have negative 2 negative 2 is a product of either negative 1 2 or negative 2 1 okay but i think it's 1 negative 2 so x multiply 1 x multiply x2 uh, x multiply negative 2 so x multiply 1 become x x multiply negative 2 it will become negative 2x so x plus negative 2x will be negative x so we, we have the same terms as the left hand side of the inequalities so we know that the factors of the left hand side of the inequalities is x plus 1 sorry x plus 1 multiply x minus 2 equals to 0 this is the one way of factorizing the left hand side of the inequalities the other the other way of factorizing is you can let you can let x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0 you can let first and then you will have x equals to negative 1 and x equals to negative sorry plus 2 so you can arrive also the same but here you you need to remember that you need to you need to form you need to have this form so from here you need to change to here okay and then when we have finished factorizing the left hand side of the uh, left hand side of the inequalities okay okay so now we have the critical values okay so have the, the, so now we have from here we already have the critical values of x okay critical value means okay when i said critical value critical value is the point that when you put the value of x you will have you you will have the value of zero you the equation will have the value of zero okay for example we have here negative one negative one if you put if we put into this side into the into the equation it will gives you one okay that is what that's what we call as critical value of x so now we have critical value here here is our critical values okay so what we will do is with the critical value is we construct we will draw or we will draw the 
the sketch actually the sketch okay we will sketch the number line okay so now we know that this is one and so this this, this negative one okay sorry uh, as, as, okay we, we draw the open circle here why open circle because we have greater than it's not greater than or equal to okay if we have equal to then we will we will draw solid solid circle but now we have uh, we have open circles okay so we have negative one two okay okay and then here we take we take a value for each interval we, we take a value just just uh, you know just take any value from the interval for example let's say from for this interval for this interval we take the value 2 the nearest one for this one we take the value 0 and then here we take the value 3 so what we will do with the this value is we try to plug in into here we try to plug in into here okay so I need to open the calculator first oh sorry what happened here astaghfirullahaladzim kan aku tak main game asal jadi lagi ok <laughs> ok this is bangang this is what we call as bangang ok ok so we try to sorry I forgot to do ok here also we try to find the sign for each of the following first we have x plus 1 x minus 2 and then x plus 1 multiply x minus 2 ok so so first we try to test negative 2 ok what we'll have here negative 2 negative 2 plus 1 will give you 1 or you can mark the negative so we mark here negative because we have negative value and then we have negative 2 plus sorry negative 2 minus 2 so we will have negative value also okay so this this one is obvious because since we have the sign for x plus 1 and sign for x minus 2 here just we just need to multiply both signs so you will have so you will have hmm, what color should I use what color should I use okay I think just white okay we have positive so here we have positive and then we go proceed to 0 this one is easy okay so 0 plus 1 will give you 1 which is positive x minus 2 so 0 minus 2 will give you negative so you will have negative sign then you multiply both sign you will have negative and then the third one okay 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so 4 is positive x minus 2 so you will, we will have 3 minus 2 sorry minute so 3 minus 2 equals to 1 1 is positive number so we will write positive sign here and then positive multiply positive will give you positive so okay alright alright so up until here up until here what should we do ok so we go back to our our equation this part you can either use this part or this part but I prefer to use this part first ok what we need so what we should what we should refer here is this sign greater than 0 greater than 0 means positive greater than 0 means the value will be positive 
So we should consider So we should consider uh, This part That has positive value So which part has positive value? This part And this part Okay Then we can conclude that our answer is Sorry, I use Okay, so then we can conclude that our answer is Our answer is X is X is less than negative 1 Because why we use less than? Because we have solid, We has We has uh, We has We has open circle Okay And X greater than 2 Okay Or you can use the interval notation Or you can use the interval notation From negative infinity to 1 Open bracket Union with From 2 to infinity Open bracket Okay Okay So this is how we use The the table of sign method Okay Table of sign method Okay Simply means Up until here When you When you done with the factorization You find the critical value You find the critical value And then You construct the timeline here you construct the timeline with the critical values being marked on the table line on the on the timeline and uh, no, sorry on the on the number line and then you put you put a barrier between them somehow like an interval an interval of between barrier and then for each for each interval you choose one value that represents that barrier okay and then you put that value into the equal into these three Expression Okay to the, I think the, enough For these two Because for here You just multiply The first with the second one That's the, th the third expression Actually And then we, we When we have the When we have the sign Combined We go back again To the equation We see the sign What sign Is being used If we have greater than we, Then we will use uh, Interval that has Positive Positive sign if we have less than zero, we will use the the interval that has negative sign. That's how we use the this method. Okay. So we go into the second method, still uh, algebraic method, still algebraic method. So we we have this method. Also algebraic. method that now using the number line using the number number line okay now using the number line is different from okay uh, the first method we still use the number line but when we construct the number line we just Pick a value from each interval. Okay. However, you you in this method. However, in this method, we are not we are not going to use we are not going to oh, we, uh, what we, say, we are not we are not going to pick values one value from each interval. Okay. So I will I will use the same I will, I will use the same example. Example Solve The same equation again Solve You know so The same inequality again Okay So The first The first and second step Is similar Is similar But What we The punchline is When we have this part Okay so I will skip the first and second set, the second set, the second, the second step because it's just similar to the previous one. So we already factorize. We have, we have x plus one, x minus two, greater than zero. Okay. Again. Okay. So here Okay Up until here Okay The third step will be different Okay So Okay 
the concept behind this step is okay we have we have here one number and here also one number okay the multiplication of two numbers that gives you greater than zero what is the possibility of of what is the possible uh, what is the possible solution of the this 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 inequalities okay so we consider one by one so consider x plus one greater than zero or x greater than two equal to zero okay so now for the first consideration we have we can use basic uh, basic algebra so we will have x greater than one x greater than than one okay okay and then the second one x greater than negative two okay but then but then okay but still we need to consider also okay when we draw the timeline here no not the timeline when we draw the number line here okay we will draw this inequalities so I will use ni kalau apa dia hijau <laughs> okay so the first one x great, is greater than negative one so we'll draw here arrow to the right and then the second one is here arrow to the right ok then the are consideration that we need to make ok up up to the green line this part will be negative ok here the part will be positive ok I think I need to draw the line also ok now up to the the blue the blue arrow this area and this area will be negative only this area will be positive ok so now we can combine oh no, we can we can multiply both signs so negative multiply negative will give you positive positive multiply negative will give you negative and positive multiply positive will give you negative positive so now we have the area we have the area that satisfy the inequalities is this this area sorry this area and this area ok so we have our answer the same as before the same as before x is less than negative 1 and x greater than 2 or from negative infinity to negative 1 open bracket union with from 2 to infinity open bracket ok so these two methods these two methods are the algebraic method of uh, solving the quadratic inequality ok to be honest, I will, I, I'm not familiar with these two methods because <laughs> these two, for me, these two methods consume too much time. So, I will introduce to you another method, which is the graphical method. The graphical method. Okay. C. graphical method okay graphical method okay graphical method requires we to to to, uh, to 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 remember one thing that we already learned in additional mathematics okay okay let's say we have this this quadratic form this quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c Okay, so if we have A greater than 0, the curve will be like this. If we have A 
less than 0 then the curve will be like this where the two points here are the critical points the critical points ok so again using the same example here using the same example here example soft soft ok what happened to my to the midpoint here ok never mind ok soft x squared greater than x plus 2 ok so I will skip the first and second step also ok so we, you, we will have this this form this form so x minus x squared so x squared minus x minus 2 greater than 0 so now we have our a is 1 which is greater than greater than 0 so we construct just a sketch it's not the real it's not the real curve it's not the real graph it's just a sketch ok so we sketch here so here is negative 1 negative uh, this is 2 ok since our A is 1 so we have the smile curve ok so now how to find the area that satisfy the inequalities ok so we go back to the this part here we have greater than 0 greater than 0 means the area that we should focus is up here up the x axis ok if we have less than 0 then our the area that we should focus is below the x axis ok but now we have greater than 0 so the area that we should focus is uh, up the x axis ok so the only area that satisfy this equation is this area this area and this area why not we use this area no this will not be our area because because why because it will not give you the the answer actually because this the light the 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 white line here represents the value when you put different value of x okay so this line here represents the value when you put x beyond that okay that's why you have the value up uh, up up the x axis when meanwhile this line here means that the value are negative why why they have this that kind of value because they put they are using the value of x here okay so the value of x here represents this curve while the value of this this part here represents this line this curve so that's why you, we choose for this example for this example we choose our answer here so our final answer is x less than negative 1 and x greater than 2 or you can use also the interval notation from negative infinity to negative 1 open bracket union with 2 to infinity open bracket ok so these are the these are the methods of solving quadratic uh, inequalities ok so that's why I said to, uh, I mentioned just now I prefer to use the graphical method because it is easier but you still need to factorize you still need to factorize because the the purpose of factorizing is to find the critical value ok only that's all but for this graphic for the graphical method you also need to know the curve corresponds to the to different values of A only this you need to remember after that you can solve the equation uh, directly without using the sign <laughs> without using the sign because for me using the sign is uh, consuming more steps than this method ok but up to you what, what method to use if you if you if you think that using the time uh, using the table of sign or using the number line is 
uh, easier for you than the others method then up to you what to use as long as you can you can arrive at the correct answer okay so that's all for this video i hope this video will make you understand these three methods okay if you don't if you, if you have question or you have comments please uh, don't don't hesitate to leave uh, the comment the, the, your comments at the comment section uh, we, we will see you again on the next video inshallah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh